Hello everyone, this is Destro, getting back to Dishonored, Brigmore Witches, right where we left off. Uh, with Dowd on the edge of the Brigmore Estate. Um, and we have to go in there and deal with Delilah and all of her nonsense. Got a few things to check out outside first. Also these! These are a new type of enemy for this level. And they're kind of horrifying. This one here, I suspect, is just there to, um... Well demonstrate what they do. Basically, they are the Brigmore Hounds. They're they're kind of spectral hound things, vaguely rep reminiscent of the um, Baskerville Hound legend of uh, Sherlock Holmes. Uh, and in, in any the case... What doing, sir? I killed a hound in the yard. And it got straight back up and went for me. I had to crush its skull to be sure. Well, that explains that, now doesn't it? Basically, uh, you can't kill them. They get back up unless you smash their skulls with either a sword or a bolt or what have you. Now, this is one way you can get in here, but I'm totally not going to be going in this way. This way is horrifying and terrible. And, um,. I'm mostly just coming this way because that's the only one I'm going to remember where this is. Come on. There we go. Now. That one down there activates if you walk into that little ring of flowers it's surrounded by. So we're not going to be doing that. We are instead going to be coming over here and dealing with some of this other stuff first. There's also a few river crusts on this level, and those are as annoying as ever. You can see there's one over there right now. I think I'm going to go deal with him and that before I come back over here and do the rest of the stuff. Um, these I still don't mind killing. Uh, they are mindless vermin and do not count like the fish. The Brigmore Hounds, on the other hand, I will not be killing any of those, and not because they count. They, in fact, do not count. But they can detect you, and killing them would count as removing an obstacle that I would otherwise have to go around. So, yeah. Make it harder on myself. More entertaining for you, maybe. <laughs> and uh, here we have the butler's note. This is one of the favors we bought. He is going to go scale the rocks by the waterfall and make his escape across country. And he has a key with him. He also sunk this chest in which there is an urn and a spiritual remedy. So that's handy. Now with that taken care of, the other stuff we've got to do is behind the house. Except for this here. On my practice run through of this mission, I missed one of the runes, and I'm not sure which one it was, so I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. This little house thing. You can just come in through the window here. So I'm the launcher. Take that. Take the pair. And lookout orders. Doubt has left Draper's Ward and could arrive within hours. Disable the grave switch. Isabel will lock the manor and wait for further instructions in the backyard. I think they do that just to spook you. In any case... Ooh, stun mine. Nice! In any case... Um... I lost my train of thought there. Right, well, we're certainly not going in the front door. Uh, that's what Isabel has the key for, but they did mention the grave switch, and so we're gonna have to go find that. Bertram has sent his brothers one of the strictures to guide, hi guide you on your assignment to Brigmore. Uh, the sixth stricture. You can actually find that later. That one is um, wanton flesh, I think. Appropriate, given that the Brigmore witches are all female. Ah, yes. Of course, we have to come up here. I hope everything is in order, sir. Oh, everything is certainly in order. Runes! And you saw one of four there. Anyways, let's see what I can get with that rune. 
Uh, it looks like all of the stuff that I can get is stuff I don't really want to get. I mean, I'm not going to be killing anything, so I don't need to summon assassins. I guess I could get vitality as well. Just in case I, you know, fall off a building or something. Right. Now that's sorted out. We need to get to the back, and we're going to do that by going around here. If you don't purchase the favor with the assassin that gets you that cash up there, this fence is up against the, uh, the wall. Not that it matters, you can just blink up on top of that pillar and get in that way. The cash is the thing you're really paying for. Now, I know there's some more river... Yeah, there he is. Yeah, we'll have none of that. I think the witches heard that. They did, but they don't seem to be coming this way, so that's fine. Okay, so then we'll go around out here, wait for this thing to pop open. Come on, come on, come on. I know you're going to do it. There you are. Having none of that. Can loot the... Uh... Ah. That's another rune, and I know I got that one, too, so... Now. There is, I believe... Something up here. Okay, there we are. Can I? I can too. Yeah, okay. This gives me a better, bit of a better vantage point on the front yard where there are witches everywhere. Statue of Delilah. I think the assassin mentioned those last time. But no, the reason I'm here is up here. Now, where is it? Here it is. Never see this place without thinking of what we found here. So tragic. So mawkish, more like. Why do you obsess about that butler and his trap? He drowned thinking of his love. He was a thief. He drowned thinking of what Lord Brigmore would do if he was caught. I like to imagine he was more devoted than that. He's still there, you know, rotting in the water. <laughs> Why don't you go and give him a kiss? Okay. As you can see, there is a corrupted bone charm up here, as well as this book explaining that the uh, mighty Leviathan appears as a young man with black eyes in this person's dreams. Work of fiction. Or so they'd have you believe. But yes, um... The reason I come through this way to grab that bone charm is that there are two witches out there and no good hiding space. So if you come through that way, be prepared to either knock them out or uh, kill them or, you know, what have you. Doing it this way is much, much simpler, especially for my purposes. And as a bonus, yeah, I see you there. Don't think I don't. Having none of it. Now then. I think, strictly speaking, I don't make any noise when I'm um, uncrouched, but, you know, force of habit and all that. Uh, that corrupted bone charm was Shivering Silhouette, which uh, you may have noticed. That one... Uh, yeah, this one. High chance to miss with ranged attacks, but you're more visible. No, thank you. We shall not be having any of that. Um, we shall be having... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah. Yeah, I don't think I needed any of these. Yeah, none of those are useful. Okay. So we come over here. You can hear that that sort of noise. That's the teleporting noise that the witches make. Oh yeah, that's right. There's another one of you in there. 
I'll take that. I'm not going to be going down there. I'm going to do one of those. And look what I found! It's a heavy lever of some variety. And I don't think I can take that sleep dart. I think I already have as much of that many of those as I can carry. Yep, yep, we already have as many of those as we can carry. If we wanted the front door key, there's one on the tray over there. But I'm not going to be going to get it. Ah, there's the red jacket witch who we paid to um, inform us. So she's coming over here and we can drop down and talk to her safely. I don't think any of the others plan on coming over here anytime soon. And she, at the least, hello. Don't think I'm on your side, because I'm not. If you raise a hand to any of my sisters but Delilah, you'll answer to me. Understood. Somewhat disillusioned with Delilah, apparently. When her ritual's done, Emily Caldwin's mind will be gone, and Delilah will look out through her Bam! eyes for the rest of her life. I called it. Did I call it? Rule as I called it. That's up to you. I've got my money. That's all I need. Yes, Wait. indeed. What about a way in? Use the crypt. There's a lever that opens one of the tombs. The lever is kept in the shed. That's all I can tell you. Well, I've already got that lever, so... In any case, I sodding called it. I mean, it wasn't all that hard to uh, to guess that particular one. Fairly obvious, but... Uh -huh. I'm going to go over this way. Get around behind this stuff. Finish off the, uh, the butler favor over here. Here he is. Hello, Mr. Butler. Can't take your enemy, but he does have a front door key with him. Again, not that we're actually going in that way. Okay. Now this, this bit up here, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Uh, that is an apple, and I will certainly take that. And that is loot, and I will take that. Now here's the thing. Uh, when you go up this way, I think a witch appears, and I don't think that... I think that that's a scripted thing. Yeah, see? There she is. Oh, and she comes right this way. Well, crap it. Ah. Okay. We'll go through the autosave. I think it happened when I found the butler, the butler's key. Oh no, it happened when I triggered her. So, oops. In any case, free bone charm. I don't think we have to worry about her anymore. I think she goes down the other way. And actually, that does let me um, come through here. Whoops. Oh, hey. Wow, this certainly goes down a long, longer way than I thought it did. And there's some free money in here. Nifty. Right, now. You can see that there is a witch over there, and if you wanted, you could blink over and choke her, but it is a trap. She's got someone to talk to. I grow sick of this assassin. The other sisters speak of him with a tiny shudder of awe in their voices. Stupid school. Don't worry, love. That uh, what's that page from an old book? Dreary waters, hissing daughters, crack three green shells and steal their pearls, turn the spigot and drink from the misery of a broken house, gulp and swallow, follow, follow, three wet marbles down the gullet. Oh, okay, this must be the rune that I missed, one of Granny's things. 
and I've certainly stolen the pearls from three river crusts. Turn the spigot and drink from the misery of a broken house. I've done that. Yep. Uh, petals and thorns. This is an interesting little story here. Just skip through these real quick. And this is a um, somewhat dry book on landscaping design. This is the sixth stricture. Ah, uh, yeah, wanton flesh. I, uh, I was right about that one. Now. Is there one out here that I want to do?